so we're going to try the haggis bonbons, which we believe are a new addition this year. That's a bad idea. Okay, so they're actually soft, crispy on the outside, which you would expect. I don't feel like you're getting much flavour apart from not much flavour It's just like meaty, but like no okay. Is it oniony? Yeah. Try to get more of the sauce. It's still not hitting it for me though. For me, that, that hag isn't spicy at all. No. It's like beef. Like mushy, mushy beef, taste wise. I will. Out of five. Out of five. Uh, oh, goodness. I feel bad. One. One? Okay. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't think the outside's crispy enough either. Inside. It's not spicy enough. I'm going to give that a two. Sorry, guys. Your hag is tastes spicy. I'm not really, really scared of that, so I'm going to let you take the first piece. Okay. Now, this is the brat first. I've got some sauerkraut on there, so what you'll also find is there's onions and tomato sauce and mustard, which come included for an extra pound of sauerkraut. I mean, I'm going to let you go for it then. I think the this nice side <laughs> this looks amazing. Go for it. Am I supposed to just have it? Yeah, yeah. But, like, I don't know how I'm going to be able to get into this. But... I'll take the crazy oh my goodness. side piece. Oh my, I'm not taking it that way. No. So as you can see, it's rather a large sausage. Um, is that it? There is a lot of toppings, so we've added the sauerkraut, but the crispy onions are all in here, and there is a lot of eating in that bad boy. Okay, I think I've got it all over my face. I love that. I don't know about the sausage, I can't, I'm not convinced that that is the highest quality of me and I don't know why. It's got herbs in it, which is good. I can see the herbs on like whatever happened here. It's very hard to eat. Mm. I mean, it's good, but it's just lacking in flavor. I feel like this, this bread is getting really soft um, because it's just like soaking like, up um, everything. Yeah. I think I gave the haggis three, so I'd probably give I'd probably give this three as well to be fair. I would give I would give this a three, I think. Onions are nice but they could be crispy. Everything about it is soft. Yeah. Exactly. It's so, a big old soft uh, long sausage. Yeah. So next up we're gonna try the Belgian fries. Now I am equipped with napkins seen as we weren't prepared earlier, Carla. So shall we just show everybody up? This is what we're gonna be trying today. It's bacon, cheese, and jalapeno. Uh, garlic mayonnaise. Uh, Amazing. Garlic mayonnaise, truffle, and parmesan cheese. For me, this looks very similar to um, a different business's uh, offering, but we're just gonna go with it. We'll just roll with it. <laughs> it's very saucy at the top, I always find. Okay, fluffy, fluffy-ish chips in the middle. Um, mm -hmm. The seasoning. Seasoning. It's actually really nice. I, like, it's I like, like the seasoning. But I'm not getting help, you know, I'm just getting bacon. Like, bacon is good for me, kind of like full yeah. on bacon. <laughs> I'm not getting a, a, a big oomph of garlic, but I don't really like that personally. It's really creamy, like yeah. mental creamy. And for me, I'm not a massive, massive fan of creamy things, so this is maybe a little bit too creamy for my liking. Um, cheesy, yes. Like an artificial cheese taste. Yes. But that seasoning, I will I will give you guys the benefit of the doubt that, yeah. that seasoning is and I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, I quite like the chips. I yeah, the nice chips. Of, yeah, the chips, the seasoning is so decent, yeah. A cone cost you three pounds fifty. And I think a box is about five, five fifty. Try and go with it. Mmm. I just love that seasoning, oh my goodness. Good. Okay. I will be getting some later, ordering some online. No. Taste I would actually say four. Okay. I quite like it. Yeah. Um, presentation, mm. three. Okay. Three, two, three. Not overly impressed with the sauce. Love the seasoning, so I'm going to give it maybe like a two and a half because I actually like the hot dog better. So these are the mini Dutch pancakes and they have been topped with warm Nutella. Oh whipped cream, mini marshmallows, and they've been sprinkled with a bit of cocoa powder and icing sugar. Okay, shall we? Oh, oh lord. Oh, oh we're uh, oh. marshmallow down and I didn't get any Nutella. Oh no, I did. Well, I think I've got all the Nutella. Oh, I think you do. <laughs> okay. Doughy. Um, I'm trying to get a bit more of the pancake mm. so I can judge that more. It's nice. I'm not really a big fan of pancakes like this, but mm. the mini 
one seems to work quite nicely. You can't go wrong with Nutella either. Exactly. It's just, like amazing. How much for these, Carla? Maybe about oh, five. I can't remember. That was my cabin. <laughs> Sorry, folks. But Carla's never tried. You've never tried gold wine before? Never tried gold wine. So naturally, she has to try it. And I've got a hot chocolate. It's a boozy one. This one is Malibu. Malibu. Which seems really bizarre to me, but we're gonna go for it. And this is the first Malibu hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. So we're, That's been we're so the guinea pigs. Yeah. Um, but cheers! Cheers! Merry Christmas! This could go one of two ways. I love this! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm more intrigued by yours. How does okay. that taste? It's nice. It's mm -hmm. coconutty as you would expect with Malibu. Um, it is quite sweet. I'm yeah. actually not hating it. I'm not loving it though. Really coconut eat, and I feel like I want to be on a beach drinking this rather than in Aberdeen City Centre. It's very sickly sweet, so if you don't like sweet things, don't get it. I mean, five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> we had our first spoiler. Um, five pounds. I don't know if that's a little bit overpriced, and yours is fiber as well. Yeah. Size so these things, but it's a Christmas market, and everyone over. So everyone's feeling festive. Exactly. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy if you come down and let us know what you think of the food and drink when you come in.